It's hard to believe that we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves when everyone is looking out for self. No one wants to extend beyond their idea of worthiness. Wait, you want me to be kind to them, God? You sure? <laughs> sure about that? <laughs> yup. <laughs> Yes, he is. Hi, I'm Jade Godbolt, and this is Becoming Her Journey to Joy. Hey sis, welcome back for day two of Journey to Joy. From I have to, to I get to. The guiding scripture for this day is Ephesians 3.16. According to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being. It's a partnership. There's no easy way to say this, but sis, you ain't got it. You are strong, but you cannot handle everything that God is calling you to do on your own. He built your life that way. He's about partnership not sole proprietorship. He wants to be in all your business because he wants to be the good in everything you do. That's the part so many of us have gotten wrong in the past. We think if I do good things, then I'm good. Wrong. You are good because your creator is good. We are conditioned in the world to treat others how we want to be treated, but it seems like that concept has only made us more self-centered and depleted than ever before. Where warmth and kind gestures with pureness of heart are far and few in between. It's hard to believe that we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves when everyone is looking out for self. No one wants to extend beyond their idea of worthiness. We decide constantly whether or not the people we are in contact with are worthy of our time, love, and effort. Whether it's the rude employee at the store or your difficult parent who seems to never be satisfied. Wait, you want me to be kind to them, God? You sure? <laughs> sure about that? <laughs> Yup, yes he is. Many of us have adopted the idea that if someone ain't treating me right, I'm out of here. But what if them not treating you right is exactly why God wants you to stay? Sis, let me be clear, okay? I am not saying to stay in anything that is physically, emotionally, or spiritually abusive. I'm talking about when you'd rather not deal with the difficult or the challenging person or thing because they just require too much. Whether you've done the good things and got burned in the past or were burned by someone when you didn't deserve it, God wants to partner with us in every single situation. How does his unconditional love get shared throughout the world if we don't actually practice it when it isn't comfortable, when it doesn't serve us, when it literally hurts to listen to someone calling you out your name and respond with love. That's not a punishment. It's actually an opportunity to partner with the father, to be his body that comforts his other hurting child. That person you're arguing with is one of his kids too. God used a moment just like that when I was cursing out my husband, okay? And he used that exact scenario to show me through my husband that love actually has no conditions. That changed me forever. So here's the journal prompt for today. Is there somebody you are at odds with or maybe a few people you're at odds with? I want you to say this prayer. Repeat after me, Lord, forgive me for carrying bitterness, strife, and frustration or any other spirit unlike you. I need your help to transform my mind and heart to allow your love to flow through me. I don't want to handle the situation with by myself anymore. I need you to tell me what to do, Father. I will obey because I know your ways are higher and more powerful than mine. 
I surrender my will and desire in exchange for yours. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, sis. Hope you enjoyed day two. See you in day three. If you're not a part of the sisterhood yet, definitely join our private Facebook group. It's called the Becoming Her Sisterhood. Journey to Joy is part of a series of devotionals that I've been writing. The first one being the original Becoming Her devotional, which is a four day devotional that is really all about breaking down the girl you built to become the woman God designed you to be. 